We're just hours away from Apple's Glow Time event and the info just keeps coming, this time focused on the Apple Watch and Apple Intelligence, but let's just do a quick rundown of the whole event, just for good measure. And don't forget I'll be streaming for an hour before and after the event, so come and join me for the live fun. Hit subscribe and the bell now and it'll probably tell you when it's happening. But let's go rapid fire this time and not waste our time on it iPhone 16 and 16 Plus, same size as last year, but apparently with brighter colours, a new camera layout for spatial video and a capture button and the action button and A18 inside to support Apple intelligence. Moving on, iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max get bigger, 6.3 and 6.9 inches, up 0.2 inches each from last year with thinner bezels, a slightly bigger chassis, a new bronze gold colour, A18 Pro, capture button, massively better ultra wide camera and potentially new 256 gigabyte storage starting point on the Pro, which might also mean that it's $100 more than last year at the starting point, just like the Pro Max, but you get more storage, so it's the same. Apple Watch Series 10 gets way bigger from 41 and 45 millimeters to 45 and 49 millimeters. So if you've got tiny hands, sorry Donald. Apple may have a new way to implement their blood oxygen saturation to get around the US ban, but if not, at least the rest of the world gets to keep it. And it seems like sleep apnea detection is the new health feature for this year with blood pressure not available yet. So maybe next year. The same will of course come to the Apple Watch Ultra, which might also get a new space black color and could glow time mean that this Apple Intelligence series coming to the watch because glow time, you see? Sub if you agree, or if you don't, just, just sub. Apple Watch SE with a plastic enclosure is still a possibility, but not expected as such. But if it does come out, would you go for it? Could it have the flat-sided designs and display that we thought was coming to the Apple Watch Series 7? So many questions. How much money will it cost? $199? That's my guess. AirPods are also likely to get updates in two different flavors, potentially a new design uh, for the Generation 4, which could add active noise cancellation and a more entry-level version with a new design as well, replacing the AirPods second generation, which Apple currently sells for $129. Now, it does seem like the iPads are likely to be now at the Mac-focused October event, which suggests to me that M2 in an iPad mini might be real and A18 in the base iPad 11th gen, which would be amazing and I'm here for it because then they would both get Apple intelligence. And on the topic of Apple intelligence, we do also have news on that. Two of the most exciting features will probably not be here until at least the beginning of next year, with those being Image Playgrounds and Genmoji, both of which are features that create images for you on your device. Annoying, but also new features throughout the year. Uh, let's just call that a win. So let me know down in the comments what you're most excited for and join me in a few hours for the live streams. Thank you to the Patreons and we will see you in the next one, which will be live. Want the latest Apple news leaks and rumors? Subscribe and ring the bell.